friend Nano's lady. I want to ask you a question. Oh, you want a nickel for a cup of coffee? No, no, no. It was for the paper, don't you? Please, I'm in a hurry. But don't worry about nothing. And stop looking around like a scared pigeon. I have to get back to the newspaper. I just come in from out of town. Oh, it's very interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I... Relax. Answer me and you won't get hurt. Where is he? I don't know who you're talking about. You know all right. Crandall, that's who I mean. Crandall. Crandall? Yeah. Mr. Biggs brought me into town. He says I should look up Crandall. He's... Crandall's disappeared. Listen, sister, I know he's disappeared. I'm asking you where. Well, I'll tell you what. Now, I... look. Don't kid me. Crandall's a witness against... Well, against certain bodies of mine. He scared the cops because he done some little jobs, see? But your newspaper has him hidden away someplace in a hotel room, keeping him undercover and plastering what he says on your front page. Well, you got him hiding. Mister, everything you say is true, but you've got the wrong paper. Yeah? If I work for the Sentinel, it's the Clarion that's got Crandall hidden away. And I ain't scooping up. You work for the Clarion? I work for the Sentinel. He certainly pulled a bonus. I don't know. I just come in from out of town. Uh, the Clarion's a block further down. It's the Sentinel that's on this street, and it's... Oh, 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 no, I wish I had a book in my pocket. Slow to buy a thing. Come back here. Come back here. She runs her like a scared rat. Here's that thing you wanted to read. Check it out of the file. Oh, that's it, Johnny. He's the baby the police have been told to watch for. Oh. Tough-looking gorilla, isn't it? According to police, he's been imported into the city to do a job on some of those witnesses the police are trying to get against the racket. The police know he's here? Yeah, I got a telecast from the city he came from. They got a general alarm out for him now. I don't know. The city's a big place, Gilligan. Men have stayed out of sight in it before. Yeah, plenty of rattles and plenty of rats. Heard anything more about Colonel? Don't mention that name. Every time I hear the sea red. When I think that the Klan has got that guy hidden away scooping us on his story... I can't understand why Crandall didn't get himself up to the police, Gunnigan. Oh, he's one of those small-time crooks. Their minds work in circles. And besides, one of those smart apples of the Klan must have worked on him. I wonder how much the Klan is paying him for that exclusive. Yeah, his story's been in the Klan two days running. Yeah. How long do you think they can get away with it? Well, they're open to a contempt charge. That wouldn't stop those babies. All they care about is sensational stories. They haven't put out anything sensational yet. Yeah, give them time, Reed. They're going to stretch it out as long as they can. Feed Crandall's story in little pieces. And the Clarion ought to think more of the public and less of yellow journalism. What they're doing is against the public interest. Yeah, tell them that. Suppose the thought of Tom Trickerman should locate Crandall. How can the Clarion help to protect him? Search me. But that the Clarion should beat us on a yarn. That, that curse we got. Wait, please, please, what's the matter? I, I ran all the way. He, he stopped me in the alley. Oh, now, take it easy. Let's sit down. Oh, you look like... I don't know. I, I'm tired and scared. I guess both. Well, who stopped you? Oh, some awful-looking man. He wanted to know where Crandall was. But what's that, Crandall? He made a mistake. He thought I was for the Clarion. He said he'd come in from out of town and some friend of his wanted to take care of Crandall. He looks like a gunman. Jumping catfish. No wonder you're scared. Wait a minute. Hey, is this the man you saw? Huh? Here, take a look at this photo. Is that the man? Wait. Well, yes, I think it is. Where did you get that? In case you ran into something. Gunnigan. Yeah, he's got the police. Tell him he's been spotted. Hello. Hello. Now get me the clarion. He has to publish it. Oh, if he's not there, make it the managing editor and ring me back. Wait, they won't listen to you. Never mind that. Now, get going. Miss Case, tell Johnny all you know. Okay, Mr. Reed, but you're not going to try and make the clay and give up their pet witness just because... Just because his life is in danger? I certainly am. Even the Clarion has some respect for human rights. <laughs> You 
can't go in there, Lowry. Listen, sweetheart, this is important. He's busy on the phone. Yeah, and who's he talking to? Aquarian. Huh? That's right. He's trying to get them to get candles to the police. Crandall, huh? Then I got a clean Casey. Lowry, you don't know. That kid, the news I got is about Crandall. Oh. Not Pendy or Nitty, Casey. I'm going in. Oh, no, I'm not trying to sit. Do I tell you when I should pay the release this crime of the police? He's after the hey, boss. The seven may be a lot to get a story, but this time I'm more interested in human life. Oh, let all boss. It's no use. I'll give you my promise that the crime can keep crime of story exclusive. Yes, even if I turn him over to the police. No, I'm not trying to find out where you have him hidden. Word of honor, Langley. Now, wait. Well, yes, boss, it's no use. I tell you, it's too late. I'm a... What's that, Larry? Hang up, Mr. Reed. You're wasting words. Never mind, Langley. You won't. I can't make you. All right, Larry. Let's have it. I ran into a firing reporter. He'd been beaten up by a gunman. Gunman, huh? Yeah. This reporter's on his way to tell Langley now. Oh, the Clarion secret is out, huh? Yeah, boss. All the way. I learned what they were keeping Crandall. The Clarion leg man told me. After all, he'd already spilled to the gunman. He had to. You went there? Yeah, a hotel. But Crandall wasn't there, boss. He disappeared. Do you know what that means? I'm afraid I do, Larry. That gunman got to him first. Yes. That's sad, eh? Sure, send him in. Send him right in. Better put this new to the release table. There we are. Hello, Buckner. Come in, Triggy. I come to collect my dough. I took care of Crandall. Yeah? Yeah, I gotta skip out of town. The bulls are looking for me. Do you want your dough? Yeah. Ten G's. That's what you brought me into town for. Now give me the cash and I'll blow. Just the military. Sit down. I ain't got time. I gotta go. Okay. But make it snappy. So you do a job, huh? You rip that candle. Right there in the papers? Yeah, I can read. With this disappear. Police said to declare your newspaper for holding him secret. Claim newspaper cause witnesses lost indirectly. You don't see he's killed, Trig. What do you want me to do? Leave him there? There's his body. Where? Uh, in the river? Yeah. Trig, I've been running this murder ring for a long time. Things got hot and the cups were chicken up. So I had to bring in a hood from out of town to close Crandall's mouth. I bring you in. I told you, Crandall's dead. Just check him up. Ten G's is ten G's. Listen, I can't hang around. Give me the story. Huh? Come on, come on. How you look to the Crandall the works? Oh, well, I... You know, this newspaper for the Clarion, they... They have Crandall hid away in a hotel under a phony name. Go ahead. Well, I, uh... I found out where he was. Grabbed one of the client reporters and beat him up till he told me. Mm-hmm. Well, then I go to this hotel. Say, uh, what is this, a third degree? Go ahead. Well, I sneaked into the hotel, grabbed Crandall, made him come with me at the point of a gun, took him down to the river, bumped him off, and tossed him off. This is his dad, is Yeah. All right, Trig, now I'll tell you one. I don't get it. Oh, yes, you do. You didn't know about Crandall. Huh? You're just trying to collect that dough from me for a drug in the pool. I tell you, I went to the hotel. Oh, you went. But Crandall was thrown when you got there. Well, I... He was thrown when you got there, wasn't he? How did you know? Yeah. Well, your job ain't done, Trig. If you want that dough, you got to close Crandall's mouth. I'm giving you another chance, and you better find him. How did you know he wasn't there? How did you know I was giving you a phony setup? It wasn't in the papers. Because I got a note, Trig. What? Just came in. It said Crandall left the hotel before you got there. Does it say where he went? No. Just that he left. This guy got him? I don't know. Maybe I'll hear from him later, but... Hey, wait a minute. Maybe it's a bum stair. I got it. You mean you believe some guy who sent you a note and not me? Not some guy, Trig. Not just any guy. This note is from the Green Hornet. I'll take it, Peter. Hello. Reed? Yes, Cunningham. Anything new? Not a thing. You want me to give you a ring at home? Crandall's body been located yet? No, Reed. Can 
Think he may not be dead? Oh, I'm just wondering, Gunnigan. Keep after it. Got the whole staff out right now, Reed. Good. See you tomorrow, Gunnigan. Good night. You heard that, Kiddo? Crandall's not dead? If he is, his body hasn't been located yet. That may mean Crandall's wife got the Green Hornet note I sent her and acted on it before that trigger man located Crandall. You think so? Well, Crandall's a peculiar duck, Kiddo. A small time criminal who's afraid to go to the police because he's mixed up in some minor crime. Yet, he holds the key to the exposure of Buckner's murder ring racket. That he told and the clarion had him bottled up. I sent a Green Hornet note to Mrs. Crandall, a threat which I thought would make Crandall go to the police. Apparently, it had a different effect. What is that, Mr. Dick? But assuming that Crandall is still alive, that Hornet note may have made him seek another hiding place. I see. But uh, that uh, note he attempted Buckner. Uh, we'll go into that later. Right now, we're calling on Mrs. Crandall. Mrs. Crandall? Yes, if Crandall isn't dead, she must know where he is. Put the Hornet gun on the mask. We're taking the black beauty. Listen, Mrs. Scrandall, I'm from the police, see? We, we happen to know your husband ain't been killed. If you want to keep him alive, you better let us protect him. Where is he? Oh, but he don't oh yeah, I know. He don't like the cops. He's not, I tell you. But the trigger man looking for him. Maybe the green hornet. Oh, but the hornet did like you, huh? The warning? Well, that's why he... Sure, sure. That's why your husband left the hotel. Where the clarin had him, huh? Now, look. The police thought maybe your husband was dead, see? That's why there ain't nobody been around up to now. Then we, well, we got all the dope. Now, where is he? Your, your police? Oh, sure, plain clothes, man. That's why no uniform, but you see my badge. Now, where is he? Oh, oh that's more like it. This is a room 34. I that case, yeah? I got it. Room 34, huh? Okay, lady, you don't have to worry. I'll take care of him. Come on. <laughs> what a shocker. The cheap for that pony bed. Sure. I'll take care of Crandall. Yes, Kato. I'll get out. What is it? Something's wrong, Kato. Look, you can see the front of the house. See across the street? Yes, Mr. Bessner. That looks like... Hey, it is. It's Sergeant Moran. The police? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. That car that passed us a moment ago, the gray sedan, it came from here. That's right. The man driving it. I didn't realize it until just now, but that man looked a lot like the picture I saw at the second Yes? The picture of that important gunman. Kato, we're not stopping here. Stop into your eyes, Peel. We've got to locate that gray sedan. I've got a hunch he's after Crandall. If we don't locate him, Crandall's finished. Oh, I thought he might be here. 
I know this place. What you think? Ah, uh, I'm from out of town. I ain't seen it. But this place is country home. All right, Colonel. You know a lot of things, don't you? Is Buckner inside there? Not yet. I'm going to call him and tell him to come up here. Well, why don't you get it all over? Go on, I know you're going to shoot things. Stop playing cat and mother. Well, one for you is rat, Crandall. You know a lot and you talk a lot. I let them carrying guys talk me into something. I should have gone to the police. I should have told them instead. Some carrying guy said that's the one they for the police, Crandall. That's just for you. No, 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 Oh, that's great again. You got a horn of It don't make no sound. Now it's your turn, Trig. I guess you work for Buckner, too, huh? Just like me. Hey, hey, what do you mean? This is what I mean here, right? I know you ain't bumping me. You're back, man. You can send a rug from you. You can't. All right, the same thing Crandall got. Uh, uh, I got... Uh, oh. I was looking for something for the best Two of them did one call. The potential killer and the potential squealer. We got the rope. The ethics of that's okay. We're taking them inside and tying them up. We'll put Crandall close to the phone. I don't understand. You might want to make uh, a phone call later on. You never can tell. And don't forget to remind me, I have a phone call to make myself soon. Well, you can you tell Colonel? I think so. Good enough. Come in the house, you know. Well, that's the time I heard something. Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Who's that? I want you to find the F. Colonel Ramos. What? So who is this? Not trick, but man. Who is it? This is the Green Hornet. What? The Hornet? That's right. How much? Well, it was simply about 10 grand. 10,000, huh? Bring it here and we'll talk business. What are you getting at? Come here. I have crime with your country home, but that trick is here, too. A country place. How do I know this is on the level? You don't, but now you have to take that chance. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, the country place, eh? The Hornet, eh? It might be a stall, and yet I can't let Cadillac pick the buttons. My country thing. Tie him up. Tie him up tight. And another thing. 
Well, if Buckner recovers from that death before the police come, we'll be finished off that area. He's a can't I am living in the wrong place. You're a small town cook, Crandall. Before this, you were afraid to talk to the police, and I have been praying that they'll get here. No, wait. Better start right now. <clears throat> you try to get out of these ropes, you punk. No, no, you can't. I'll get out first. Why don't they get here? Why don't they get here? Something, Glennon. Yeah. Sorry, did. Behind that door, Moran. Cut men all around the place. Keep behind me. Here goes the door. Oh, no. Well, I will. Oh, the police have got here. You got here. Crango. Yeah. Tied up like a fatal finish. And this guy, he's an important gunman. Hey, there's Buckner in the horn. What? He's out. He ain't got nothing on me, Copper. We got plenty of rats. You're wanted for a homicide back where he come from. And if this guy goes far with me, all right, officer. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything I know about Buckner and his racket. He, he tried to kill me. This guy was hired. Hey, we'll get it later. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sergeant Moran talking. Huh? Oh, there's that store. Hold the phone. Sullivan. Yeah, Moran. It's the city editor, the Clarion. He says they heard a rumor about some yarn out here at Buckley Summer Place. Wants to get the story. Maybe you'd like to talk to him, would I? Give me that. So, oh, you'd like the story, eh? That's the way your newspaper tried to cross up the law. By holding Crandall so you'd get an executive student, eh? Well, you don't get it. You get nothing. Now get off the line. I want to phone this in myself. Who is this? Why, you sap, this is Gunnigan. Gunnigan of the Sentinel. Now, what do you say? <laughs> Head for the hideout, kiddo. Yes, Mr. Beth. We stayed around until the police showed up. By this time, Crandall is spilling everything. So, sir, you are tied to us. Both he and Trig Pat so sadly neither could get loose. I just wanted Crandall to realize what a spot he was in at. He did, kiddo. He did. Oh, by the way, uh, do you know a good charity that would like to receive an anonymous gift of $10,000? Oh. 